Hey everybody, Ashton back again here from Without Code, here today to walk you through our new table widget for the web builder. This is perfect for displaying data or information in a tidy and concise grid format here on your web page. Now some of you may be familiar with our table connect widget that already exists in the builder here. Our connect series of widgets uses spreadsheets to power widget contents. We actually began our Connect series of widgets on the Muse platform, and we've since continued building the Connect widgets here for Without Code, including Table Connect, which is powered by either a Google Sheet or a CSV file. However, our new Table widget here is simpler and quicker to set up. The content is entered directly into the widget option panel and offers more of a one-to-one, -one, what you see is what you get type of experience. Definitely a great option for smaller tables. Let's jump over to the builder. And let's scroll down our homepage on our eyewear template here, and we can find a place that we can incorporate this widget. And we'll pop open our widgets panel and grab our table widget from our basics section. And let's drop it into a new row on the page here. And as we do that, we already can see some pre-filled content displaying in the editor here, making styling and content replacement a breeze. Here in the row, you can adjust the size of it with the blue handle down here in the corner. And if you want this to expand the full width of the row, simply go up here to the row settings, and set the row to be a full bleed row right here. Let's click into the widget now to open the settings panel. And already we can see this is a very contained and simple element to customize with all the content neatly displayed exactly how it will appear on your page. Now you're welcome to edit any of these existing cells into whatever you want. And you also have the option up here to clear all, which will completely empty out the cells for you to start from scratch. Alternatively, if you already have a table full of content, you can use the Upload CSV button here to fill in your table in one step. Most spreadsheet apps like Excel, Google Sheets, Numbers, etc. will allow you to export spreadsheets as a CSV file. For the sake of demo here, let me make a few changes to our table in the panel here by adding a few rows of content. Let's add a row 5, 6, and 7. And those first few rows have names in them, but we can literally add anything we want. I'm just going to type some colors here, like red yellow, blue, purple, black and white. And I'll just put sample here down on the far right column. Awesome. And let's also add a few samples to a new column here on the right as well, just to see how easy it is to expand on what's already here. And if we move our panel to the side a bit, we can already see these changes taking effect in the editor here, which makes editing and previewing a breeze. Now let's jump over to the design section of our widgets panel. Now I don't need to explain everything here one by one, as many of them are self-explanatory, but I do want to point out a few unique ones. There's a toggle option here for first column. Now there's a group of styling options available to you here if this is toggled on, and these are applied only to the first column of content. It allows you to style that first column differently than the rest of the spreadsheet if it makes the appearance of your spreadsheet content more concise and sensible, like if the first column of your content represented some kind of header or label for your spreadsheet. Once you toggle this on, these settings are then available to you here and will be applied to the first column of content only. Even column width. Now as the title implies, this setting applies even width to all of your columns. Otherwise, column widths will be set by the longest text within a column and will be variable across the table. Now the rest of these settings are pretty self-explanatory, but pretty powerful too. Settings like borders, text alignment, shadows, header and row styling, and of course, spacing. Couple more things to mention before we close out here, starting with mobile formatting. You may be wondering how you can show larger tables on a mobile device. Well, there's a neat trick here already built into the widget. If we go to our mobile layout here on the builder, and let's scroll down the page to our widget, we'll open the widget options, and then we'll click the design tab. And here you're now going to see three layout options. Now these layouts allow the table to scroll, squish, or collapse depending on the layout chosen. This way the entire table can be seen on mobile. And feel free to click through these here as they're gonna adjust automatically here in the editor for you to see which will best fit your needs. And one final note, it's recommended that you avoid extensive column counts. On desktop and tablet, the entire column count is always going to be contained within the width of the table without the need for scrolling. So as you add more columns, the width of the columns will continue to narrow. And with extensive column counts, it's going to become increasingly difficult to read the text inside the columns as the text will continue to wrap vertically in extreme cases. Another solution for this is to consider multiple tables. Now, if you have a huge table you need to display, you might want to consider displaying this information in multiple tables. Large tables with dozens of columns simply won't display well, as this table widget is not designed to display large tables or to scroll horizontally.
So that covers our new table widget for Without Code. Thanks again for watching. Enjoy this new widget release, and as always, if you need any additional assistance, don't hesitate to reach out to our support team. Thanks again, and we'll catch you next time.